Hi! So I wanted to bring in the new year with a fresh new start to my everyday carry. And I haven't been in my Christmas setup for more than a week, but you know, it's the new year's coming and out with the old and in with the new. So I really wanted to stay in the same cover because I'm absolutely obsessed with um, this leather and the print, but I think that I can give this a completely new look um, by adding some different inserts, some new clips. So um, I made some new dashboards, and if you wanna see how I transform this into something a little more glam and modern, then keep watching. Okay, so now I have um, pretty much an empty cover. Um, I did still keep this because I think this might actually work with um, the new theme that I'm gonna do for this setup. Um, these are my inserts and I'm gonna be putting those right back in there. So I made these, um, these das dashboards and these are inspired by my friend Victoria and her whole house is like, pearl and white and and um, sparkle and I just thought how nice that would be to have like an all white planner that's just pearls, flowers and um, shimmer to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up. Another um, notebook I have. So I always like to put my monthly first. I'm going to put that in there first. And I'm thinking this is the prettiest dashboard, so I might have that right in front. So I would like to put the prettiest dashboard in front because right when you open it, it just makes you really happy. And then I'm gonna stick my monthly in here. And this is a lilac insert, and I may change it to white. It might drive me crazy to have a lilac insert in an all white, black, and um, shimmery theme. <laughs> knowing myself and then I'm going to put um, my next favorite insert in here which will probably be this pearl one and then I have to have my weeks next throw that in there too and then this is my days in this one and then lastly, hmm, actually I think I might want to put my weeks in the shimmery one just to break up the shimmer so it's not shimmer on shimmer. All right, and this is a, a pen loop which I used in my last setup that I made and I still think that this goes with the theme. So I go, will go ahead and sneak this in somewhere. Put that in, beautiful. I'm still very happy with this pen that I'm using, um, which is a tool pen. And this is um, in a 0.5, so I'm gonna sneak that over there. Actually, now that I think of it, I have this bling bling. Okay, so I have that down. And then now I put a little target pocket here. So I was thinking I would put, you know, maybe something cute in here. I'm thinking maybe more of this fits right here. Maybe grab a nice paper clip. And if for those of you that don't know, I do work for Mac, so I'm very inspired by everything Mac. This is from an old update book and um, I just really love the image and how that is. Um, I made a little bookmark out of some other stuff that we received, so I thought, you know, maybe that would be nice, like there somewhere. Here's a little love. Stick that in there. Um, have a piece of glitter. 
a fabric that's left over from another project. And I think I'm going to stick this in this little heart pocket. That's what's so great about this heart pocket is that, you know, whatever you put behind it, you can see through it. So I think for Valentine's Day, I might put, you know, a red one. I had a red one in there for Christmas, but I thought that was really, really nice. Um, this is like a, like a mirror sheet I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, not sure where I'll put that, but I, just, I like the idea of having a mirror in your planner. So if you need to touch up your lipstick or something, it's, it's just a cute little girly kitschy thing to have in there. Um, here's a paper clip that I made. Uh, this is made out of resin and before I was into planning, I was really into, um, resin jewelry, making resin jewelry. So I have a lot of leftover um, things that I've made and a lot of the stuff I just stuck glue behind and made into a paper clip because um, I would have made this into a necklace or something else but ever since I got into planning all of my resin pieces have now become paper clips. <laughs> um, and then this is leftover from some makeup packaging and I think that this would be cute as a bookmark. And the trend is to kind of like stick like a little bookmark on the side and have like the flap open there. But I did use a lot of like rhinestone dashboards. So that probably wouldn't be the best. But I think it would definitely work here. So maybe we um, revisit that. I'll put that there to remind me to do that. And I have some like little fun girly dashboards. I don't know whether I'll use them in here. I did buy them off Etsy and I thought they were really cute. I do have my little Louis Vuitton one, which is nice. I only own one Louis Vuitton, but you know, I think that still gives you, um, you know, some rights to put that in there. <laughs> um... This is a little um, charm um, ring thing that I found out. Um, where did I find this? I want to say Joanne's. And um, I think I was just going to stick this maybe here at the bottom. And so I have a little dangly something right there just to make it really girly. And then I have a ton of this stuff. And a lot of it's just placing it in here and then figuring out where it goes later. So it was kind of giving me a little anxiety to do everything in front of you, but I guess the whole part of it is seeing the process. <clears throat> so um, I had some leftover packaging. I put this behind the mirror just to give it lots of dimension. Here, um, I just stuck some leftover rhinestones I had just behind there so it has like a nice layer to it. And, you know, it's all... You know, it's good to have very relevant things in your planner that you can use, but sometimes it's just good to just put a pretty piece of paper in there just because it adds a color, adds something else to look at because you're just going to be paging through it very quickly to get to your month and your week. And it just brightens up your day when you just have a little bit of sparkle right there. Sometimes when you put um, inserts in, they're not the same size. And sometimes that happens in cutting or whatever. And then you just see all these different edges here. And if I don't like, if I see an edge that's protruding that I don't like, I just stick some rhinestones um, there too. 
and that actually makes it look really, really cool. And before I wasn't putting a lot of pictures in my planner, but now I do. And look at my daughter. <laughs> so this is her, and then I also have um, a black and white picture of her here too. So I try to find pictures that actually like go with the theme of the planner, just to throw that in there because it's she's so adorable. Um, and, um, I ended up not doing the little bookmark thing just because it wasn't gluing onto this or taping onto this glitter really well. And I'm almost finished. Um, but I do feel like I need to put something, you know, somewhere, somewhere in here. Maybe like a nice quote or something. Let me go find something that would be really pretty right there. And then I think that'll um, that'll complete this setup. Okay, so this is what the final setup looks like. Um, I laminated the sticker and kind of placed it in front of the heart. Um, I put just like a um, a little clear cut out there, just to kind of tie in some of the floral print. I paper clipped my Louis Vuitton journaling card in there just to make it girly. Um, and I just like the bold um, logo. Then here we have the Mac Culture cutout and a love journaling card with a mirror. Um, I incorporated the little bow clip again. Here is another new journaling card that I love from the newest Planner Society kit. Um, some sticky notes, some like printouts. Um, I even have a little clear tab here that I stuck on here that I printed on. Um, clear transparency paper and then I laminated it. So it just gives, um, you know, just a very nice, interesting um, tab to look at. And I also did that with this. I made this into a uh, paper clip. I was going to use it as like um, a fold over bookmark, but I think it looks better like this. And usually I reinforce any of like my important paper clips with washi tape so that they don't move. Picture of my daughter. You've seen that. And I was going to um, put this down here, but I kind of liked it up here on the side and just hanging and out of the way. And here you just get the look of like the diamond rings. And I just thought it was a cuter accent here on the side. So there's that. Um, silver and gold. And here is the pearl dashboard. And I haven't done much yet here. I put another Target um, plastic pocket here. Um, and, I, and I have my um, everyday stickers right here. And I thought this was kind of cute. And I put um, some of the new stickers. I laminated them from the recollection stacks. Um, that's a really old Planner Society kit post-it, uh, bow post-its. And I've stuck this all on here with double-sided tape. The leather is really smooth here, so it's not going to damage it at all. have some stencils. Um, more packaging that I reused and cut little tags out, because maybe I might use those as bookmarkers later. And the pen. So now it just looks... A lot more sleek, still very girly, um, but it was still, you know, my Christmas planner, and I got to reuse it for, you know, a totally different look. So thanks for watching. Bye.